thank you so much. It has been a wonderful day uh, today that uh, actually on, on Saturday, so to say, I want to give you a big thumbs up for everything you are doing. I want to say thank you so much. Don't mind my voice, you know, does the work of a lot of shouting and all that, getting to location and uh, to get information. I'm, I'm not only here, I'm just here with my wonderful friend. Oh, Jimumaiwa, once again, welcome to our program, Face to Face. We want to start by saying that uh, there's a fire on the mountain. Run, run, run. Now we're going to say that we're putting on the same color. Sorry to say, because I said that we're going to be putting on our dress very soon. But this is yeah. not a dress, it's just a, a, a coincidence anyway. And something is happening in Kwara State, and it's a very, very sorry state. Mm -hmm. And uh, this actually brings a tears to my eyes, saying that um, what is really, really happening. It doesn't mean that Nigeria is actually moving back to uh, at the Asian days where the, 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 um, the, the civilization have not actually come to play. Okay, let me give you the background of what really happened. We know there's a school called um, you and on, Bapt on Baptist. On you, yes, thank you so much. On you Baptist High School in Ijabo, right? In that um, um, facility uh, where we actually known for like a Muslim school. But it is not totally a Muslim school bar because of the geographical environment. But, you know, and um, a few days ago, and um, there was, we heard that is an, an incident in that school where there was a, a, a a fracas between the Christians and the Muslim students, uh, which um, some actually um, uh, body was recorded uh, uh, found in the school dead right there. Okay, and that's what we want to talk about this right away. And I, I, I will appreciate if your comment is actually being seen and you send it to us so that we can actually take it up from where you actually are thinking from. All right. What are we going to talk about this issue? Because when before we started, I said that you are so 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 angry because that is the same school my honorable actually graduated from, right? So yeah. what are you going to say about this incident? Seeing your school, your old school, in this and uh, sorry state that we are going to talk about right away. Well, um, when this old scenario happened, it was just like a play, and lo and behold, even yes, as of yesterday, one of my, um, um mate in school back in you know, and Baptist as well who happens to be a Muslim is a brother as well he was very angry about it he posted it on his Facebook page like wow my secondary school which I finished from the great on Baptist high school Ijabo is known to be one of the best secondary school in the Opara state this school is funded as long as 1972 this school is getting closer to almost 50 years many Christians many Muslims have passed through that school without any problem. So why now? Why now? It's barely just few few weeks when the government take over the school. Now the question lies for the fact that the Kwarasi government, this is the question for the old Kwara government. Is the Kwarasi government only for the Muslim? Because it's getting so it's getting out of hand. The same thing almost happened in CNS and and um, St. Anthony in yeah. Illinois. Yeah, you're right. Last year. Now, this same barbaric attitude is happening in Oyo Baptist High School. Over what? Over the use of hijab. And as we all know, even the Muslim, uh, even, uh, right from onset, the Muslim were never discriminated in Oyo Baptist High School. They are the mocks, whereby every, even aside from Friday, every blessed day they observe their prayer. All their prayers have been what have been observed right inside the mosque, which was built in right inside the act. Of the, of the school, very close to the hostel. Now, what are we talking about? Every Friday as well, they observe their Juma and their Juma service. Nobody obstruct each other. We, the Christian as well, will be in the chapel. We will pray, everybody will, everybody jolly together. We we are best of friends. Why is it that some, some set of people now want to bring their political their political craziness, their political madness in, into the life of the young people out there? It's, it's, it's so so um, so um, dumbfounded that this is actually happening. We are going to take it precept and precept, and I think that uh, after this um, broadcast, the um, the Aquara government right should look into that um, possibly. Uh, actually, we can get a positive um, outcome from that. Okay, let us look at it. We know that this school we are talking about is more like a missionary school, so to say, and this incident started. You mentioned uh, um, um, the KNS school, right? Yes. And and I think that immediately when government came into power, using their what, authoritative power to actually hand over these schools to, them. to, 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 to themselves, this is where the problem starts. I, I, I would like to you. Yeah. 
Okay. Now, we actually heard about the, 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 the celestial church. Now, is in the out of, of Quara. Let us look at the Quara as, as a state. We actually heard that the, the, the people, the Yorubas in Quara, are actually shouting and agitating for um, an autonomy to themselves, yes. saying that the Northerners have taken over Quara. And, and, and the truth is this, nobody has anywhere. Yes. And that's, that's the truth. Now, I think that that will be the background to this problem. Now, what are we going to see? Are we going to see that the school should be shut down or there should be division of religion in this context? Actually, right at the moment, the school has been, has been shut down. And I can see that many people, what will happen to the life of this young one that ought to be in school, and now the school is shut down? And the question now is that, can we break the two religions out? No. Is it capital? No. I have a lot of Muslim cousins, Muslim uncle, that are free from this same or Baptist high school. Even friends. And friends and family. This school has been in existence for almost 50 years. There's never been any issue like this. Now, why now? So, I don't, I, I believe that Korasi government should make necessary, uh, necessary correction to this because we only know the, the beginning of this whole story. We don't know where it's going to end. Because can I stand against the Korasi government that the use of hijab, because let's even ask ourselves, right from onset, there's a word that is uniform. Yes, right. That they are wearing. They have a beret. Some, some Muslims are claiming that okay, they don't want their, 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 their girls to be opening their, um, their ear. No, there is a beret that you can use to cover your head. So why we just, we, just the way you already said, it's like we are moving backward. Because I don't believe, I don't know how some people uh, taking the social just using of um, hijab has anything to do with what with uh, learning and uh, 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 teaching and learning process. In, in other words, one thing that actually actually is um, disturbing me because as as so developed as um, 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 London or, or uh, what so to say England it is, yes. you first still find that that some students still go to school with a job. And there's not actually a problem there. I think that the Quara government should actually look into to, into this so that, that we are not going to take everything so political. Our, our political aspect is yeah. being politicalized. Our, our life has been so political, politicalized. Even everything, even food, money and everything has been politicalized. Now they're taking the madness into our school. And I think that we should look into it right away. I'm mean, going to actually be shutting down. And now please, I actually want to actually accept your, your, your comment concerning this incident because the lives of the innocent ones have been shut down by this stupid barbaric incident and this can never never continue like that i'm not going to end here i'm going to be saying um please look into it i'm not here alone i'm here with my wonderful friend i will be saying to the quarter government bye bye